for an historian like myself, there are lots of good reasons to visit York. But one of them, one of those reasons, is because of the city walls here. The walls were built in the medieval period, and unlike Newcastle, most of the walls are still intact. In Newcastle, 200 years ago or so, for Newcastle to grow, they actually had to get rid of large sections of the town walls. Now, in Newcastle, the medieval walls were town walls because Newcastle wasn't a city until the 1880s. So I've come down to York and I'm having a look at these fantastic medieval walls, which give us some idea of what they would have been like in Newcastle a few hundred years ago. Most of the walls are built on quite a steep turf embankment, which we don't actually have in Newcastle. And they've also had a ditch down here, but pretty much where that road is. Now they did have that, a ditch on the walls in Newcastle. Obviously you've got your crenellation here. And that's, that's what they've got on the walls in Newcastle as well. Typical defensive fortification. As you can see, they are quite a height. Look how many people have fallen over the edge here. That's the Newcastle. And then a series of towers. Gateways as well. So, this is the Frisigate Town. It's quite an it's quite substantial. We can see from this map that uh, we are here at Fishergate, but we're going to follow the path around to the next section of wall up here and get to Middlegate Bar. This area here is where two rivers join, so you can see why they've got Clifford Tower there. It's uh, they're using the natural defences that are created by these two rivers. It also makes it much more difficult to be able to put a wall in, but also less need for it because the rivers provide a lot of the protection. So we're going to take a wander over here and then follow the line of the wall along to Little Gate. I don't think medieval people had the same problem as we've got with the roads here, which is full of vehicles. Right, here goes. Phew. So this is where the two rivers join. It's the, the first the hills. And the three men around. That's the old city prison man which is now the York Castle Museum. And on the other side of it is Clifford Tower. So, Clifford Tower in the distance there. You see the daffodils growing on the embankment there. And where the Castle Museum is now, which is this area here, would have been part of the castle as well when it was back in the medieval days. But we're going to be crossing the river here. It's one of the rivers that, or the ooze that gives, helps give the Clifford Tower its protection. And in the distance, we don't see it because of the trees, it's the continuation of the wall. So, this is where we're going to reach on the wall. This is Bale or Bailey Hill.
ditch would have been. I think uh, the range there now is probably as well as part of it. these areas that stick out from them, which gives the defenders an even better chance to take or pick off any attackers. So again, these are just useful vantage points to have a much bigger field of view uh, to be able to take down our uh, attackers. Oh, yeah. 